Hey y'all, I just um, had something that God put on my heart that um, I thought I'd share with y'all. Actually, that he wants me to, God wants me to share with y'all. Um, I was think, um, thinking about a little bit about, you know, like, uh, you know, you got TikTok where people basically make themselves look absolutely ridiculous, um, you know, out in public or whatever, don't, don't care whatsoever, um, but they do it for, you know, to try to get that perfect TikTok video or, um, you know, you know, something that hopefully maybe it'll go viral or maybe they'll, you know, do a, <laughs> look a little weird, do a, a strange pose or, or do something absolutely ridiculous or silly, you know, in public to try to get that perfect picture, you know, for, for faith, I was going to say Facebook, but it's usually Instagram that, <laughs> um, I've, I see a lot of it is, um, you know, they try to get that perfect pose, um, you know, for a picture and, and hopefully it'll get a lot of likes and like I said, or, you know, TikTok, try to get that perfect video and hopefully I get a lot of views and a lot of likes and, and, and all that. But, Something that we don't see is a lot of people, um, you know, going out and proclaiming God's name, um, the, the Lord's name for fear they are going to look ridiculous and uh, that people aren't going to accept them or, you know, or, you know, a, a fear of uh, being different or, or, you know, just getting out there and, and, and you know, when you're proclaiming his name, you know, he's he's light. God is light. He's truth. Um, and so people are, you know, either get afraid of, of doing that for, you know, various reasons. You know, maybe they think they're going to look ridiculous or, um, you know, something like that. But, I mean, but yet you're out there, you know, looking ridiculous to try to, you know, make a little viral video or, or uh, a picture that's going to get a lot of likes on, on Instagram. Um, uh, Psalms 22.22 I will declare thy name unto my brethren in the midst of the congregation will I praise thee. So, you know, God wants us to get out there. He wants us to proclaim his name. He wants us to um, let people know that he's there because he is. And he, want, and he wants people's hearts. He, he, he wants to enter into people's homes and, and today we've, you know, we've, um, a lot of us have kicked him out. We've kicked him out of our, our, our country, our schools. And uh, he he wants to come in. Uh, let's see Hebrews two twelve, saying, "I will declare thy name unto my brethren, brethren, in the midst of the church will I sing praise unto thee." So there again, you know, he's saying, you know, he wants us to uh, let our, you know, encourage our brother and sisters in Christ. And uh, and talk to people and and make new brother and sisters in Christ um, to bring people to Him. Um, let's see, the lights not super good. Let's see. Psalms twenty-five, verse three. Ye let none that wait on thee be ashamed let them be ashamed which transgress without cause so you know um doing those the trying to get the you know the viral tiktok video or or a perfect picture for instagram you know he's basically that's saying you know that's only you know temporarily i mean it's 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 not something that is important. 
um, he wants the Lord, he wants to be the number one important thing in our lives, not what, he doesn't want, um, our thoughts of what is important to other people, he wants, um, he wants to be the one that is, is important in our lives. Um, Psalms 25 verse 5 Lead me in thy truth and teach me for thou art the God of my salvation on thee do I wait all day all the day so we in our prayers or at least in my prayers I always ask the Lord to to guide my every step to guide um you know my my hands and my feet I mean just just to guide my heart and my soul to to guide every part of me to take to take control and for him to have complete and absolute con control of of my life of my work of um my business of of talking to others of working with the horses of working with with people and um he wants us all he wants us all to come to him and ask ask him for help to ask him to enter enter our lives um some of us might be you know well you know i've done some, you don't some of you might be well you don't understand I've done some stuff that you know is probably unforgivable from God for for God and you know so I'm gonna just kind of keep going the way I'm going because I'm already you know messed up as it is and that is not true not true at all uh, there's no sin too small that goes unseen and there's not there's not a sin that's so big that is unforgivable um so he see the little sins he sees and and they don't go unseen and the and the big sins that there's no there's no sin that's too big for him to forgive so i don't care it doesn't matter where you are in life um, today, he, he wants your life today. He, he wants to, um, be a part of your life. So, I hope, my, my hope, my prayer today that, um, if you are a believer in Christ and you have accepted him, that this encourages you. And I hope that if you haven't accepted him, that, that, today that you'll accept him as your lord and savior because he died for us he he loved us so much that he died for us um john three sixteen. for god so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believeth in believeth in him shall not perish but have everlasting life so he he loved us so much that he gave his his son for us to forgive us from our sins that that we have committed and I just wanted to let y'all know today that he does want your life he wants us to believe in him and not just believe in him but believe in his word and and to follow it so I hope this word was um, I hope this word was encouraging to y'all today and um, look forward to seeing y'all later God bless